Hello everyone, today is April 5th, which is E, so today we're going to learn about eyelets and grommets. Now, eyelets and grommets are very useful tools for portraitry, and they're very easy to put in, even though they seem a little bit intimidating. Now first I want to talk to you a little bit about, about eyelets and grommets. This is an eyelet, and this is a grommet. And these up here are the washers that go on the back of the fabric. Now you'll notice the washers are the same, but eyelets and grommets differ in one important thing. It's called the flange. Now the flange is this part of the eyelet or grommet that, go, that shows when you put it into the fabric. An eyelet has a really narrow flange, while a grommet has a broad one. Now the eyelet's narrow flange is much more attractive, however, the grommet is better for fabrics that might ravel or tear out the grommet. So if your fabric is delicate or perhaps it is going to be subject to a lot of wear and tear, then a grommet is better than an eyelet. They also have one other feature, which is the barrel. Now the barrel is this part of the eyelet, the part that goes through the fabric. Eyelets and grommets have different lengths of barrels. As you can see, this eyelet's barrel is almost double the length of this grommet's. And that means that the eyelet will go through more fabric. It also means that the eyelet needs more fabric to be secure. You can buy eyelets and grommets both in different barrel lengths, so keep that in mind when you're buying them. In order to set an eyelet or grommet, we'll need just a few things. Now first off, it's not necessary, but it's nice to have some kind of pattern. I use this as a piece of uh, rubber flooring, but really you can use anything that will pad your anvil against your floor. Next up, you'll need an anvil and setter. These ones are hammer driven. I like the hammer driven ones a lot better than the scissor action ones because you really hurt your hand doing those. Next up, you'll need an awl. I don't like cutting my holes, I like punching them and easing them out with an awl. Finally, a rubber mallet. Next, we're going to set an eyelet. Now, the techniques for setting an eyelet and a grommet are identical, so you can use this technique for either. First, you take the fabric that you want to put an eyelet or grommet into, and you take your awl. Now, usually I would mark the location of where the eyelet or grommet is going, but in this case, since it's a demonstration, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to work the awl into the fabric where I want the eyelet or grommet to go, being really careful to widen the hole while breaking as few threads as possible. And work it back out, and there you can see we have a hole. Next, I'm going to take my awl and I'm going to put the eyelet onto it. Actually, I'm going to use a grommet for this because this fabric is very thin. So I'm going to put the grommet onto it. Then I'm going to put it back in the fabric so that I can use the awl to help work the fabric over the barrel of the grommet. See that? And then I'm going to put the washer over it. And holding the washer and the grommet together, I'm going to take it off the awl and put it onto the anvil. Now the anvil has this groove that's made in it which is perfect size for either an eyelet or a grommet, and a hole in the middle. So we, we seat the grommet so that it fits in that, in that divot, and we put the driver through the barrel down into that hole. Now we're going to give it a nice hard whack. And then we're going to pull it out, and as you can see, the barrel of the eyelet has rolled down over the washer so that it holds the washer in place. And there we go. We have a nicely set grommet. Well, there you go. Now we've set a lovely eyelet and a beautiful grommet. I hope you come back tomorrow. Tomorrow is F, so we'll be talking about three of my favorite sewing machine seats. Thank you for watching.